Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talk, and here's a video I shot at the reveal of the 2024 F-150. Uh, it's a little loud in here, but excuse the volume of the loudness, and enjoy hearing directly from Ford on what's new with this truck. Years ago, I did a take uh, back on the F-Series, so I started on Super GT. I've been on a number of programs since. I've done Ford GT, I've done Maverick, a couple of Fusions, a few Explorers, some Super Duty, some Raptors, a little bit of everything. But since 2015, I've been specifically on F-150. Uh, it's been a great time with the program team and everybody on F-Series is, is awesome to work with. So a lot of passion behind the product. Hopefully it shows. Um, overall, with this 24 model year F-150, we really wanted to establish uh, one that we're both built for tough by design inside and out. But we also know that the customers and their top five choices of why they pick an F-150 is the design. So we always want to push the design set it apart from its predecessors and obviously elevate uh, toughness, sophistication, and style. With the new version, I'll reference the door, the red truck, that's our Larry series. Across all of our premium offerings, we want to share a coast-to-coast -coast theme that goes with our entry level and premium. And this is an odd, a nod to the current C-clamps. So one of our design languages on our high series is a C-clamp and that's shaped out through the signature light. So it creates that nice graphic, but the width of the grill is stretched out through and into the headlamps. So rather than being just a defined grill in the center, by stretching it out, the whole front end looks much wider. Also adds a lot of sophistication and style. Now across every other series, we want to push and make sure we have utmost technology and evolved technology, both interior and out. This, as John mentioned, is the new STX FX4 package. And one thing we wanted to accomplish with this, with the coast-to-coast -coast grill, it's not just a nod to the 70s and 80s trucks that had the grill going around the headlamps, but we wanted to make it more sophisticated and stylized. One way we did it by adding secondary grains and sometimes third grains. The grains on here were selected to be more robust, so as you're driving off-road down the road, rock chips are gonna go unnoticed, it's gonna look stylish, and it's gonna look great for years to come. It also frames the headlamps out. So by isolating the headlamp in the center, it puts an emphasis on the accent bar. But one thing we've done across the board is we've standardized LED headlamps. So from your XL all the way through your Platinum Plus, you're getting LED headlamps and all the advantages. So you'll get better visibility daytime, better visibility nighttime, lower maintenance costs, longer life. Great technology that's gonna definitely help progress the front ends of our truck. As we go around the side, talking through the entire series, we want to make sure that there's a offering for every truck customer, not just the typical XLTs and Lariats. So one thing we've done, this particular series, we've gone with the low gloss black bumpers, wheels, all of the hang on parts are all low gloss black. And this is really our entry to off-road. We want to have this have off-road connotations, utilitarian kind of purpose, and definitely have a kind of a, a, a grit to it. And by doing that, this creates this nice, stealthy appearance, but intentional, rugged tires. If you want chrome, we've got XLTs, we've got chrome packages on other series. We've got black packs are gonna be available now from STX all the way through Larry. So we're really trying to expand what we're offering to our customers. You can get a black pack or not. You can get colors or not. Going through, we've got wheels. All of our wheels are gonna be tailored to the series. So on some series, you'll have matte black wheels. Some series, you'll have chrome wheels. We've got some wheels on higher series that have textures. So those textures coordinate with the interior design, but brought onto the exterior. So a nice interior exterior combination on anything is gonna create a holistic package. On the interior, we know and we listen to our customers. They love the big 12 inch display. So we've standardized that across the portfolio, all the way from XL to Platinum Plus, we're gonna have the 12 inch cluster. 12 inch display. 12 inch cluster is going to be also standard. So no more analog gauges. You've got digital cluster on your um, above your steering wheel. On all trims? All trim levels. Okay. All trim levels. So that does two things. One, it gives a lot of technology to the interior, but it also allows those technology features to really help with our Pro and our XL customers. If we've got good capabilities, why not share it with everybody? So that's going to bring a lot of advancement to the vehicle. Well, we're also going to be offering a heads-up display starting on Lariat as optional. It's going to be standard on the Platinum Plus. Once you get around to the Platinum Plus, definitely pop your head in because that's going to be a truly exciting interior. 
heads-up display going across, a lot of cool textures and finishes. I have a question. Sure. Really quick. Yep. Um, I, I noticed some um, center console screen surrounds are, I mean, some of them have less closure and some don't. Some of them flow into the gauges. Is that by trim level? That's by trim level. So when they flow into the gauges that you, you've seen on the other trucks, that's part of the heads-up display. So the heads-up display really creates a driver-centric pod going from the center stack to the cluster. So all of your controls, all your technology, all your function are right there. And then to top it off, it's going to project, obviously, a lot of driver information right on the machine. Okay, thanks. So cleans it all up, makes it nice, crisp, and defined. But that's, to your point, right, it's not on every series. It's not offered on an STX, but it will be offered on Lariat. Thanks. Going on to overarching for what did we do on color materials, speaking of the interior, the biggest change that we've got for 2024 is the addition of a new series called the Platinum Plus. This replaces the outgoing Limited. And one thing we wanted to achieve when we came up with this was to make it warm and inviting. All the colors on the interior are based on natural tones, uh, predominantly mushrooms, because it's smoked truffle is the name of the color. So it's based on colors of truffles, mushrooms, things like that. But this elevates the level. We wanted to make the utmost premium F-150 we can make. So by using smoked truffle with dark smoked truffle accents, it creates a nice natural tonal balance. You have bright finished satin metals going across your instrument panel so that way it lightens up everything. We brought in bronze accents on say the American flags on the side and a few other key details to really give it a splash of color. And then to ground it in the luxury, we've got a nice Sapelli wood that's got nice figuring in it. Across the IP, we've secondary laser etched some lines. And these are a real nod to the heads-up display. When you get into that truck, you'll notice horizontal rip details across the heads-up. Now you've got it across the entire wood. So complete package, both interior and exterior. Pairs well with the darkened bronze, which is one of our two new colors for 24. That one and the green that you see later when Tony takes you through Raptor. If warm and luxurious isn't your take, but you still want luxury, we've got a black pack version of the Platinum. Now for 24, black pack is our Platinum, our base Platinum offering. So you'll get all of the gloss black exterior bits, the wheels, the grills, the fender vent. All of your exciting bits are gloss black. Go on the inside, now it's a blacked out interior with very minimal splashes of blue. The blue we're calling Platinum Blue. I know it's a great name, but um, it's sophisticated, but yet it still has an element of being kind of sinister. We've got genuine brushed aluminum going across your dashboard, as well as your doors, the console, and on your steering wheel. So together as a whole collective, you've got a blacked out exterior, you have a dark interior, with really refined, but yet rugged brushed aluminum, it creates a nice package. For our younger customers that are a little bit more into the outdoors, um, our thought was mo motocross guys dirt bike riders, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, outdoor sports, shooting sports, you know, the, the people that are out there really using the truck, beating the crap out of everything, they are gonna resonate with this color because you see it on dirt bikes. You see it on pretty much everything. Um, really fun and exciting. I think that's gonna inject a lot of new life to some younger customers and hopefully attract some of the youthful buyers. If the electric line isn't your take, we've got a black pack version. Like I mentioned, standard from STX all the way up through, and including Platinum, we have a black pack version. So if the bright and exciting is a little too much for you, we've got a black version without. XLT and Lariat is really the meat and potatoes of our F-150. We've got some refreshes in there. One, no, most notably, the Baja tans going away. Looking at it and being very critical of, of what the tan was and where it was at the time, it was good, but evolving it, we've softened it a little bit, we've graded off a little bit, so that way it's a little bit more neutral, a little bit more natural looking. I apologize, the light in here is not exactly the best, but when you get it outside, it's a great, you think of a nice rich khaki, it's inspired by, say, clays and, and different stones. So it's a natural feeling, it's gonna seem a little bit more premium, but it's still gonna elevate that tan space. The whole environment is gonna be black, rather than a whole tan environment, but that's gonna make it more modern, more technology savvy. Other finishes on the XLT are just going to kind of elevate that whole ambiance. A Lariat, we've opted to upgrade it a little bit. So it's going to have that same dark smoke truffle, or medium dark smoke truffle, to replace the Baja Tan. But we're adding pecan stitching throughout the seats, doors, dashboard, console, steering wheel. And one thing that does is it raises an element of premiumness. We have 
nice bronze finish accents throughout. If you don't like the bronze finish and you want something a little bit more sinister, we'll have a black pack version of that, which you guys will see on the red truck. But across the board, we really condensed where we needed to. We've expanded where we needed to. And ultimately, the customers will have more selections. Rob, what's your make? A nice fold up seat. Um, they wanted me to talk through it. I will say my wife works at Home Goods, so there's a lot of times there's furniture that shows up at my house. She has an F-150, by the way. So I'm sh this gets used a lot. And I've seen Chase lounges, dressers, you know, everything else go there. And it's something that's great. You can fold up the seat. It's, it's pretty unobtrusive in the door. You can fit big things there. But we've got the underseat storage, which goes unnoticed with a lot of people. When you need it, you can fold it up. It's quite useful. You can put volleyballs, basketballs, groceries, you know, pretty much whatever you want to store under there. Um, other sports were mentioned that we don't need to talk about today, but uh, you know, our, our hunting guys in Texas will probably find a good few uses for that. But it's great. Fold it up when you need it. Put it down when you don't. And you don't have to lift up both seats. I could have that side completely down, fold it up with just a section. So quite usable. Work surface, touch point on that. That came out in 21, 22 model year. And that's great for people using it. If you're working, you can't clutter it because it has to fold up to drive. But use it for work, use it for lunch, signing documents, laptops, great features. Max recline seats are great for taking a little break if you're on the job. Uh, tailgate wise, you guys will get to later. We're introducing a new function, a new tailgate called Pro Access Tailgate. Milton will take you through, but uh, we've always tried to be a pioneer of tailgates, understanding what holes do we have and what volume areas can we utilize. So we punched the hole through the tailgate, now it's a storage bag. So, great place to store a hitch. If you got it, if you're not using it very often, gloves, ropes, tie down straps. There you go, there is what's new on that particular topic you just watched. I have a variety of videos on this, I actually have four plus two more, so about six videos already on this truck. I'll put the uh, another video over here, check that out, website down below, pickuptrucktalk.com, a lot more details over there. As always, thanks for watching, I will see you down the road.